Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my re-review of Borderlands 1 on the PC. Oh, and I'm doing the, um, the store glitch, or, well, it's not really a glitch, it's a feature. Because when you log out of the game, or, well, uh, log out, when you leave the game you're playing, and you come back in, the store is refresh, which is a bonus. But I did this a few times just to get some better gear. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that part because, you know, I am doing my reviews all over again. And I am having to, you know, have the background for my own videos. Because I don't have the games installed anymore, unfortunately. Because I have all, like... 10 games already installed. Oh, these things suck. I don't really have any cons about the game. Besides maybe like how there's no color. But that was the original design choice. Which I'm fine with. But if you're not fine with it, I get it. Another con for some people would be the art style. How it looks like a comic book. Which I get. Even I was on the fence about it at first, whenever I first played the game. I wasn't a fan of the art style either. But it grew on me. So. <clears throat> Another. This one is definitely a con for me. Yeah, this, this one is definitely a con. The guns. They suck. Most of the guns you get, like for the assault rifles are burst fire unfortunately and burst fire guns as you can tell in this game they suck they just they just suck they're 12 rounds and they are they didn't work out but I thought it would maybe it did okay But, the pros are, this game, you can modify your character, there's four to choose from. You gain levels, which is obvious, because there's a little blue bar on the bottom of the screen, and you see little XP pop-ups every now and then. There's loot, there's guns, there's money, there's stores, there's enemies to kill. It's a looter shooter, which is nice. Um, there's also badasses. Guns have elements to them. Which again, this was the first game they made. The guns were not that great. Besides the elements. Later games, it was better. A lot better. The story is wonderful. The voice acting is wonderful as well. Graphics wise, for its time, it was great. This is the remastered version, or the, I guess, like the high def version on PC. So, it's honestly not bad. Another freaking piece of crap gun. Nice. <laughs> I recommend this game if you're a fan of, you know, shooting games and if you've never even heard of the Borderlands series at all. Which I'm sure a lot of you have, but if you are younger and you've never even heard of it before, I recommend it. It is fun. You will enjoy it. There are, f there's technically four games, but one of them doesn't really exist. And us old farts, we know which one that is. <laughs> we know which one that is. Um... But yeah, I rate this at a 10 out of 10, despite its age, despite how bad the guns are. Which, I mean, the guns are probably bad for a reason. Lore-wise, not because of design choice, but, you know, story reason-wise. Humans came from Earth to a planet called Pandora. 
So they brought what they had with them. And that was, you know, AK-47s, AR-15s, you name it. That's all they had when they first came. They didn't have the fancy high-tech guns in the, in the future games. Ones that can walk around and shoot things or explode or whatever. <clears throat> they didn't have access to any of that stuff until later. Much later. So, again, I recommend this game. It is fun. Yes, it is dated. Yes, it has its problems. What game does not have its problems at all? If you're a fan of shooter games, you will enjoy it as much as I did. If you're not a fan of shooting games, I still recommend it. As you saw there, there was like a little it, like a little um bug where I was not even aiming at the guy and I still hit him with the bullets. I ain't gonna complain at all. If I hit him, I hit him. Cool. The enemy variety is unique, except for, yeah, no, it's unique. I mean, you got your typical humans, you've got the aliens of the planets. I mean, yeah. The class I'm playing is um, the sniper, because I'm not really using the sniper rifle anymore. I mostly use, oh, I died. Or did I? That's why I love this game. Hey, Call of Duty, you can take some hints from this game. I mean, nah. But, I mean, think about it. Like, this game is great. Yeah, it's dated, but, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. I rate it at a 10 out of 10, like I said before. It's fun. It's not fast-paced. It's a slow game, so if you're, you know, into slower games, great, that's fine. I honestly don't know what else to say. This has been my review for Borderlands. Hopefully this one is better than my last one. If not, eh, I don't care. I'm still learning. But anyways, have a good day, and I will see you all next time.